Give me some credit, Gary. I remember. Press this button to read the signs. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Give me some. I'd make myself a snack. A bounce on the old bed. <laughs> this is where I keep all my old comic books. Hey, Squidward. Didn't I pay you to go away? Hey!
Well, now if I could only find my other sock. It's on your head, remember? Well, of course. Now where did I put it? This is why I don't go outside. Ever. I 
feel like a new sponge. Pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Push, 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 push. How about the rest of that pedicure now, sir? What are you talking about? My feet are fine! Sometimes.
Wait me for a boy! Go get that king jellyfish! Well done, Patrick. You're a real star. Can I get a cookie? No. <laughs> Tell me you haven't been driving. Of course not, Mrs. Puff. I don't even have a license. Oh, good. Then it was just another bad dream. Oh, <laughs> 
There have to be some non-student drivers around here. Bye! 
Oh, thank you! I can finally watch those reruns of the Rockfish Files! Thanks for your help, SpongeBob. SpongeBob needs to know the wants to go.
Is it the TV repair kid again? Maybe he can rub my feet. Ew. Kid, if I were you, I'd get going. Fast. <laughs> Oh, 
running around! Come back anytime! Say hello to my little bubble! SpongeBob, how do I get out of here? Well, that depends. Do you want the booby-trapped or the non-booby-trapped exit? Non-booby-trapped, please. Then go that way. <laughs> or maybe it was that way. Say hello to my little bubble. computer.
Oh, hi, Sandy! Stop your yapping and let's get robot trapping! ready for driving school to start up again after all these robots are gone hmm maybe these robots aren't so bad after all Nice job, SpongeBob! That was some fancy sliding! all that pimp wax I bought is finally paid off. Oh, 
Ahoy there, Sandy. Top of the morning to you, Mr. Krabs. I'm calling the moving company tomorrow.
Hi, Gary. SpongeBob. What's happening, SpongeBob? Hey, Larry. The only good robot is the one that's given me them shiny objects! Say hello to my little bubble friend! I should be working.
keep looking for golden spatulas, SpongeBob. I'm sure that my robots out there have some. Hey, you call them your robots. No, I... And I saw a plaque on the butt of one of the robots that said, Property of Plankton. Well, maybe, but I... And I found this order form for robot parts with your signature on it. Can I have that back? I need it for my tax write-off. I think you've been pulling my leg this whole time. Well, duh! I'll bet you made all these robots. And after I get inside the chum bucket and figure out how to stop them, I'm gonna tell everyone. Fine, tell everyone. Be a big tattletale. I'm still smarter than all of you! Bubble power! Flash! Authorities have confirmed that the robots running amok through Bikini Bottom are indeed coming from the Chum Bucket! Yes! Right where you're standing! Plankton, owner of the Chum Bucket, and best known for the creation of robots whose sole purpose is to cause mayhem and destruction, has denied any involvement. And then stomp on your children! And stop on your children's children! This has been a Bikini Bottom News Flash! They serve food here, yes, but they don't serve love. Humanity, or should I say, the fishanity? <laughs> oh, that's got a sting! I guess SpongeBob won't be winning that way. I guess SpongeBob won't be winning that way. of the painful kind! I guess Spongebob won't be winning that way! I guess Spongebob won't be winning that way! That does it! Spongebob is back in the fight! You want to leave now? Meow. I know it's my dream, but I want you to stay. Meow. Oh, th Job. Now, let's hoist anchor and get out of here! Say hello to my little bubble friend.
You know, after a while it grows on you. I should play this as background music in the Krusty Krab. What do you think? Now we can leave. But first, I need my paycheck. Mr. Krabs! Excuse me. Mr. Krabs. Say hello to my little bubble.
Hey, Larry. What's happening, SpongeBob? <laughs> wow, if anyone was going to make it down this sky slide, it was going to be you. Bubba Buddy, why am I having to pay all these golden spatulas to these toll booths? Because, SpongeBob! Well, can't argue with that. Say hello to my little bubble friend. Bubble power! You're still here, Mrs. Pop? Oh, SpongeBob, I just feel like I'm all over the place these days. Well, have fun. See you at class. Say hello to my little bubble friend.
<laughs> now on VHS and DVD, journey into the abyss in search of life's eternal truths. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Quick games. Whatever. <laughs> At long, long last, it's time to begin the battle for Bikini Bottom. Ooh, I can't wait. Now to activate my army of blindly loyal robot minions. Hear me, my robots. This is your boss, your ruler, your master. <laughs> today we... <clears throat> I mean, today I will conquer Bikini Bottom and you will all follow my orders. <laughs> He's dead. Oh. You... Robots. What went wrong? My plan was foolproof! I went to college! Get lost. Tips week. See end. What's this? 
The obey plankton switch on my robot generator was set to off. No! Robot tea parties are the best, huh, Patrick? Oh, I wish robots were people too. Wouldn't that be great? Let's gather up all the robots and make a wish on the first falling clam we see. Okay. I wish robots were people too. Pretty much. Robot Rome Hall of Arms Sandy Trivia Patrick Trivia Answer trivia questions correctly to free Patrick from the cage. As the timer counts down, wrong answers will be removed. Score at least 500 points to continue to the next game. I'm ready! I'm ready! Ready. Who did Patrick take to his prom? Does Patrick have? <laughs> what does Patrick keep in this secret box? A key! What color is Patrick? <laughs> what does Patrick have on the roof of his house? SpongeBob, give Patrick for Valentine's Day. Patrick's alter ego. <laughs> Which 
Flash is not something Patrick likes to do. What amusement park does Patrick like to go to? The magic shop bowling, but Roba had to manhole memory. Click a manhole cover to reveal a character from the game. Uncover two matching characters to make the manhole disappear. Clear all three levels to continue to the next game. Magic Shop Graphic Jam. Use the mouse to move SpongeBob through the streets of Bikini Bottom. Avoid the boat driven by Plankton's evil robots. Collect all of the magic props to continue to the next game.
fun! You found a toy bunny! Good job! You've located some marbles! <laughs> The magic shop bowling buddy. Click the mouse button to make Patrick pull SpongeBob down the lane. Make sure the moving arrow is lined up where you want the ball to go. The more pins you knock down, the higher your score will be. The magic sh graphic jet the magic shop robot the magic shop the Gary trivia Gary Chopper Slime Tray Vine Duck K Squidward Trivia Mermel Wall of Cave Jumper Open Squid Open Rope Squid
answer trivia questions correctly to free Squidward from the cage. As the timer counts down, wrong answers will be removed. Score at least 500 points to continue to the next game. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. How many suction cups are on one of Squidward's heads? What is the name of Squidward's ancestor? <laughs> what color is Squidward's shirt? Next door to Squidward. Way to go! You've earned Mermaid Man's emergency oxygen tank! What does Squidward do at the Krusty Krab? SpongeBob made a sweater for Squidward out of what? Instrument does Squidward play? <laughs> How many suction cups are on one of Squidward's feet? What does Squidward call his clarinet? Well, isn't that just right? Great job! You've won Mermaid Man's Exercise Paddle Ball! What does Squidward do in his spare time? Mermalair Dance Party! Cave jump Rope down! Rope Sandy Answer to- I'm ready! Answer Dress to impress! Gary, trivia. Answer trivia questions correctly. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Who has Gary for a pet?
How many times a day does Gary eat? What is Gary's last name? <laughs> what is Gary? What animal does Gary sound like? <coughs> what color is Gary's fruit dish? Teach the SpongeBob how to tie the shoes. <laughs> Great job! You've won an eye patch! Where does Gary sleep? How did SpongeBob get Gary? <laughs> what sound does Gary make? Gary the vines with Gary, Gary Chopper. Fly Gary through the forest, avoiding the vines and robots along the way. Click and hold the mouse button to go higher, or release it to... Good job! You've located a protective helmet! A spatula! Dunk, block. Move SpongeBob's left over to the dock on the other side of. Great job! You 
have won some new clothes! Great job! You've won some glasses! Get dress vine swinger. Click the mouse button to jump from vine to vine. Time your jumps so SpongeBob avoids. <laughs> SpongeBob in each of the different outfits. Drag and drop each item onto the changing screen. Dress SpongeBob correctly in all five outfits to continue to the next game. Hooray! Yeah! Perfect patties are made with love! Karate! Why would I want to put that there? Why would I want to put that okay. there? Yeah! Arr. Why would I want to put that there? Jellyfishing! Jellyfishing! Hooray! Hooray! There is nothing like being at the ocean. Except being under the ocean. Slime! Click the mouse button to turn Gary toward his food dish. Be careful not... Thank you. 
It is an extraordinary morning for SpongeBob. He wakes up even more excited than usual. For today is the day Mr. Krabs announces his appointment for manager of the Krusty Krab 2. And SpongeBob knows in his heart that he is the sponge for the job. There is an added spring in his step, and the world is a brighter place. He needs to get ready for work, and then it's off to the Krusty Krab. Destiny awaits. Looks like a beautiful day outside. The perfect weather for a promotion. Good morning, Gary. I had that dream again, Gary. Meow. And it's finally gonna come true today! Because today is the grand opening of the Krusty Krab 2! And I think we all know who Mr. Krabs is going to promote to manager. Meow. Right, what? No, silly me! I'm ready. Promotion. What do you think, Gary? White shirt and red tie for the big day? Oh, Gary, you're so witty. Meow. <laughs> Will the quips never end? Absolutely delightful. Are you hungry, little fella? Meow. Maybe just a little around the eye stalks, but it looks good. You were too thin before. Meow. I am not just saying that. Well, I can't stand around here gabbing all day. Bye, Gary. Meow. <laughs> My alarm clock. I tell you, that thing is loud. It scares Gary half to death. Looks like a beautiful day outside. The perfect weather for a promotion. That seems perfectly normal. That's my bed. Neat, huh? It's jammed. I need something to pry it open with. I had a pet clam in there, but he got out. I can't go outside in my underwear. I can't go outside in my underwear. These pictures are really bland. I want to see sharks or electric eels or something like that. I can't go outside in my underwear. <laughs> The knob is broken. I need the remote control to turn it off. Now, where did I leave that thing? The knob is broken. I need the remote control to turn it off. Now, where did I leave that thing? I got that at a garage sale. It's my special toothbrush made for only two teeth. Time to shower! But I'm not doing it in front of you. Close your eyes. Ah, 
squeaky clean. Squeak, squeak. My alarm clock. I tell you, that thing is loud. It scares Gary half to death. I'm not sure why bubbles are coming out of there. It's my special toothbrush, made for only two teeth. It's a spatula, quite useful for flipping Krabby Patties. That's my sink. I don't have a dishwasher, unless you count me. Looks like a beautiful day outside. The perfect day for a promotion. It's an ice cube. Hmm, it's kind of shaped like me. I can't go outside in my underwear. It's jammed. I need something to pry it open with. Ah, there we go. Just needed to jimmy it. White shirt, brown shorts, red tie. Classic. Mm, that isn't right. That won't work. My clothes! I need them. I'm bashful in the nude. Hi, Mr. Telephone Man. Whoa! Careful! Don't scare me like that. I'm very high strung. What you doing? I'm trying to fix this phone line. It's broken. I need to use the phone. It's really important. Well, I'd be glad to let you know when I'm done. It's gonna be a while, though. But I need to use the phone now! What do you want me to do? This phone line repair is delicate work, and it takes time. Hey, is that why you're real or... Bah, phony? Bah. I don't follow. Get it? Phony? Because you're a telephone man? Oh, that's rich. Remember when I said hi to you, and you got so scared? Ah, good times, good times. I can't help it. I have a problem with loud noises. I don't even own an alarm clock. Boo! Don't do that! I'm gonna get going. Have a good day. Bye. Let me just connect this wire to this thingy. There, that wasn't so hard. Looks like a phone box. That's a grill. Sometimes I make Krabby Patties right in my own backyard. Oh, could there be anything sweeter? Ah! <laughs> 
I can't go into work until I've brushed my teeth. That would be unprofessional and stinky. I can't go into work until I've brushed my teeth. That would be unprofessional and stinky. Mm, that isn't right. I need to put toothpaste on it first. I can't go into work until I've brushed my teeth. That would be unprofessional and stinky. Hi, Patrick, old buddy. Hello, Mr. Manager, sir. Say, Patrick, tonight after my big promotion, let's go out and party till we're purple. I love being purple. Why are you watching a TV that isn't even on? My remote stopped working. You could just get up and turn it on. There's no need to overreact. Patrick, that's my remote. No wonder it doesn't turn your TV on. So, you say this is your remote? Yes. Then what is it doing at my house? That's what I love about you, Patrick. You always ask the really important questions. Exactly. So, um... Can I have my remote back? Oh, then I'm going to have to get up to turn on the TV and go to the kitchen to get more ice for my kelpsie. Why? 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 This cruelty is unbearable! Well, what if I got you some ice for your kelpsie? Then you'd only have to get up once. You'd do that for me? No problem, buddy. Getting ice is what friends are for. Except in France. Here you are, buddy. One piece of ice. Hurry up and take it. It's melting. Oh, now wait just a minute. This ice is cold. Uh, yeah? You don't fool me for one second, mister. Okay. I'll let you off easy this time, seeing as you probably have other things on your mind. But don't let it happen again. Okay, I won't. Here's your remote. Thanks. I can't go into work until I've brushed my teeth. That would be unprofessional and stinky. I can't go into work until I've brushed my teeth. That would be unprofessional and stinky. There! Now I can hear myself think! That looks like me! And it looks like someone is giving me something! Maybe it's a present! That must be Squidward's new phone number! He sure changes it a lot! I should give him a call sometime. He really only needs one chair. I don't think he's ever had anyone over for dinner.
That Squidward's phone. I like calling him and just talking for hours and hours. Hi, Squidward. What you doing? I'm composing the next movement of my latest opus. The theme is unwelcome visits from neighbors. Right, what you know? Opus, huh? What do you want? Bunch, Bob, I'm sort of busy here. I was wondering if I could borrow some of your toothpaste. I'm out and I want to look my best for the grand opening today. I'd love to help you out, SpongeBob. Tell me I'm not going to. How can you compose a porpoise with the radio on? Oh, but can the radio give me uh, ideas? I mean, inspiration. I don't steal my melodies, if that's what you're saying. Maybe I'll turn the radio off for you. Would you like that? I'd do anything to help. Honestly, Funpa, I couldn't care less what you do. As long as you do it as far away from here as possible. Is it the opening of the Krusty Krab too exciting? I want you to know I plan to thank you in my managerial acceptance speech. Did you happen to know that I am showering? Can't I please have some toothpaste? My breath is getting sort of briny. I noticed that. It's horrible. I weep for those around you. Well, bye for now, Squidward. Oh, you're leaving? My horoscope was right. Today is a day of great joy. better. Now Squidward won't be so deaf to the rest of the world. I can't take that. Squidward might see me. That won't work. That isn't going to work. I can't do that. Hi again, neighbor. What now? I turned the radio off, Squidward. Wow, all by yourself? Yep, it wasn't that hard, really. Well, bye for now, Squidward. Oh, you're leaving? My horoscope was right. Today is a day of great joy. Hello? Who is it? Bye. Who's there? Is this you, SpongeBob? <sighs> Bye. He could be there listening to the sound of the ocean all day. Hello? Who is it? I don't even think Squidward has teeth. He won't miss this. Aha! That did it! Hooray! My teeth are clean. Now I can go to the Krusty Krab to accept the mantle of manager. I'm ready. Responsibility. Woo! We're men. Go!
First mate, ship's radio is dead. Get some new batteries in here on the double. Right away, sir! I was just... Uh-oh! Uh -oh. What was that? That, Karen, was the sound of my dreams becoming reality. You're getting taller? Taller? No. But I definitely will be moving up in the world. <laughs> Ahem. Now, Krabs, kneel before me in my technological superiority! Your flimsy defenses are no match for my supercharged exoskeleton and robot minions! The Krabby Patty formula is mine! Mine! <laughs> You'll need more than a tin clown suit to outwit me, Plankton! The Krabby Patty formula is perfectly safe in my new ultra-secure... Ooh, safe. You mean this? Ultra secure safe? I'll have this open in no time. Get back here with me, safe Plankton! Uh, Mr. Krabs? Thank Poseidon you're here, boy. Plankton has stolen me safe with a Krabby Patty formula in it. Little does he know that the safe requires a special key to open it. I made three copies of the key and hid them in three secret locations marked on this map. Thank you! Oh, no! No! I have an idea! SpongeBob has an idea! We're saved! We're saved! What is it, boy? Okay, all we have to do is get a giant speaker system and play sad music about a lonely trucker really loud! Next, we'll have a barbecue and start cooking hot dogs, baked bananas, and sauerkraut. Then, using electric fencing, an old tuba, and a litter of kittens. And how is that gonna help? Squidward, picnics always help! Wait! Why don't we all head out and find the keys before Plankton does? I like SpongeBob's idea better. Thanks, buddy. That's it. All we have to do is find the keys before Plankton does, and the formula will be saved. <laughs> so glad I thought of that. <sighs> Me too.
Ah, peaceful, sleepy Bikini Bottom. The creatures of the sea are deep in slumber. Their night brains exploring the mysterious world of dreams. Transmogrified into a lean, mean racing machine. Time to put the pedal to the metal, the rubber to the road, and the sponge to the storage! Whoa! There's only one word you can use to describe this, Dale. Yes, really cool. That's two words, Dale, but thanks for playing. Connecting the Wii Motion Plus Accessory. 
First, you'll need your Wii Remote Controller and Wii Motion Plus. Turn the Wii Motion Plus accessory so that you can see the arrow on the lock switch. Insert the Wii Remote Controller into the jacket so that the tip fits snugly. Push the wrist strap through the hole in the bottom of the jacket. Next, pull the strap through until you see the cord. Pull the jacket over the bottom corners of the Wii Remote, gently moving the accessory back and forth. Press the buttons on both sides and insert the connector plug into the controller. If the cord gets caught, gently give the strap another tug. Be sure to slide the lock switch up in the direction of the arrow to lock it into place. Place your hand through the wrist strap and adjust the strap lock. If the strap lock has a lever, be sure to click it firmly in place. Now you're ready to play. Domination begin! I'm so excited! I can't believe tomorrow is the 117th anniversary of the Krusty Krab! Wow! That's right, Gary! Mr. Krabs is letting me have the party at my pineapple! He's letting me pay for everything, too. Isn't he great? Wow! SpongeBob, look sharp, me boy! Tomorrow's a very important day! For Cashy! Think of all the Krabby Patties we'll sell! Uh, Mr. Krabs, shouldn't the secret formula be in a safe place? Good thinking, lad. Here, take the formula and put it somewhere safe. Aye, aye, Mr. Krabs. I won't let you down. Hey, Patrick. What are you doing here? Mr. Krabs hired me as security for the big event. That... Oh, no. Patrick, where did I put the formula? I can't remember. Did you look in your pocket? It's not there. Oh, hey, hey, maybe it's in my pocket. Nope. Okay, SpongeBob, don't panic. I can feel my normally carefree and jovial attitude dissolving away! What does that mean? It means I'm sad, and when I'm sad, I can't remember anything. Patrick, we need to find that formula before you know who does. P-L-A-N-K... P-O-N! Oh! Plankton, how long have you been there? Long enough to know you're in big trouble. <laughs> well, SpongeBob, seeing as we are friends, um, it seems only right that I help you remember where you put the formula. 
Oh, that would be so nice of you, Plankton. I love your help. Hey, wait a minute. How do I know you're not just trying to get the formula all for yourself? Um, my honest face? Then okay, let's find that formula. Okay, let's review, shall we? Step one, drop sleeping SpongeBob into chair. Check. Step two, shrink bots. Check. Step three, do laundry. I mean, insert bots into brain. Check. Step four, turn on remote. Check and double check. Now, with this control, I'll guide my precious nanobots into the deepest recesses of SpongeBob's tiny mind, where I will extract from his memory banks the precise location of the Krabby Patty secret formula once and for all. It couldn't be easier. <laughs> Okay, change of plans. I will now enter SpongeBob's brain and find the formula myself. Some algae each day keeps the doctor away. That's the thing that I always say. So let me get this straight. The only way you're going to remember where you put the formula is if you're happy. Uh, that's my key story. Seriously, SpongeBob, how hard can it be to make you happy? Oh, wait a second. Remember when we went jelly fishing? That made you happy. Wow, Patrick, I feel happier already. We've struck a memory gusher. Let's dig deeper. My frontal lobe. Boy, when you stop and think about it, the ocean sure is wet. Whoever said time flies wasn't waiting here. Thank you. 
32% happier. Bring a new step.
but you see me in my hammer's way? I came, I smashed, cut! I think I can hit that button from here.
Put a little spring in your step. Maybe if 
I stand here long enough, the formula will find me. Put a little spring in your step. Boing, boing, boing. I'm bursting! Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Happiness is as happiness does. This is kind of neat. Let Tom Tom, Tom Thurvin. I'm bursting with happiness. Happiness is as happiness does. Okay. I think they're over.
SpongeBob! Yes, Plankton? Don't you have anything cold to drink in here? I can lick anything you throw at me! Plankton's Robotic Revenge! And Plankton's Robotic Revenge. Plankton's Robotic Revenge! Ooh. Squidward Tentacles, Plankton's Robotic Revenge. SpongeBob SquarePants, 
I was told this game was starring me. Snail. Plankton's robotic revenge. Are you ready, kids? First mate, ship's radio is dead. Get some new batteries in here on the double. Right away, sir. I was just. Oh. Uh -oh. What was that? That, Karen, was the sound of my dreams becoming reality. You're getting taller? Taller? No. But I definitely will be moving up in the world. <laughs> now, crabs, kneel before me in my technological superiority! Your flimsy defenses are no match for my supercharged exoskeleton and robot minions! The Krabby Patty formula is mine! MINE! <laughs> You'll need more than a tin clown suit to outwit me, Plankton! The Krabby Patty formula is perfectly safe in my new ultra-secure... Oh, safe. You mean this? Ultra-secure safe? I'll have this open in no time. Get back here with me safe, Plankton! Uh, Mr. Krabs? Thank Poseidon you're here, boy. Plankton has stolen me safe with the Krabby Patty formula in it. Little does he know that the safe requires a special key to open it. I made three copies of the key and hid them in three secret locations marked on this map. Thank you! Oh, no! Spongebob has an idea! We're saved! We're saved! What is it, boy? Okay, all we have to do is get a giant speaker system and play sad music about a lonely trucker really loud! Next, we'll have a barbecue and start cooking hot dogs, baked bananas, and sauerkraut. Then, using electric fencing, an old tuba, and a litter of kittens... And how is that gonna help? Squidward, picnics always help! Wait! Why don't we all head out and find the keys before Plankton does? I like SpongeBob's idea better. Thanks, buddy. That's it! All we have to do is find the keys before Plankton does, and the formula will be saved! We- <laughs> So glad I thought of that. <sighs> Me too. Press the jump button to jump. button to attack. Oh, what a cute little robot. Thank <laughs> you. 
tap the jump button twice to double jump. Ah, another one down. Use the sprockets you've collected to purchase and upgrade gizmos. You have unlocked the Pickle Blaster! Use the gizmo activation button to shoot. Focus your shots on a single target for a big damage boost. to be vanquished! Aw, what a cute little robot. Ah, another one down! Tap the jump button twice to double jump! This is like popping bubbles! Use the sprockets you've collected to purchase and upgrade gizmos! You have unlocked the Pickle Blaster! Use the gizmo activation button to shoot! Focus your shots on a single target for a big damage boost!
So wait! So wait! Jump and then press the action button to perform a ground slam attack. Perform a ground slam attack on treasure chests to open them. Perform a ground slam attack on the switch to activate it. Shots hit you. Hard to believe that tiny plankton could do so much damage. Not so hard, really, when you realize you're dealing with a powerful intellect like mine. You see, I owe it all to these energon power cells. They are a source of unlimited power. Using these babies, Karen was able to build me this freaky robot battle suit and an entire robot army! Yes, yes, and with a little help from the Plankton family as well. I 
assure you that I will find these blasted keys, but I have one more thing I must do before I am on my way to world domination! What's that, Plankton? Destroy the lot of you, that's what! Sick em, boys! to the forces of good! Not so fast, young poor bearer. You may have won this first battle, but I assure you that victory will be mine. My robot army will have those keys any time now, and I will finally possess the fabled formula for the Krabby Patty! What do we do now? I suggest giving up this charade and going home. Maybe a nice cup of tea before bed. No, Squidward! We've got to beat Plankton to those keys! Yeah, Squidward! Oh, brother.
I'm so excited! I can't believe tomorrow is the 117th anniversary of the Krusty Krab! Meow! That's right, Gary! Mr. Krabs is letting me have the party at my pineapple! He's letting me pay for everything, too. Isn't he right? Meow! SpongeBob, look sharp, me boy! Tomorrow's a very important day! For Kashi! Think of all the Krabby Patties we'll sell! Uh, Mr. Krabs, shouldn't the secret formula be in a safe place? Good thinking, lad. Here, take the formula and put it somewhere safe. Aye, aye, Mr. Krabs. I won't let you down. Hey, Patrick. What are you doing here? 
Mr. Krabs hired me as security for the big event. That... Oh no, Patrick, where did I put the formula? I can't remember. Did you look in your pocket? It's not there! Oh, hey, hey, maybe it's in my pocket. Nope. Okay, SpongeBob, don't panic. I can feel my normally carefree and jovial attitude dissolving away! What does that mean? It means I'm sad, and when I'm sad, I can't remember anything! Patrick, we need to find that formula before you know who does. P-L-A-N-K... P-O-N! Oh! Plankton, how long have you been there? Long enough to know you're in big trouble. <laughs> well, SpongeBob, seeing as we are friends, um, it seems only right... So let me get this straight. The only way you're going to remember where you put the formula is if you're happy. Uh, that's my key story. But seriously, SpongeBob, how hard can it be to make you happy? Oh, wait a second. Remember when we went jellyfishing? That made you happy. Wow, Patrick, I feel happier already. We've struck a memory gusher. Let's dig deeper! Jellyfish Fields, my most happiest place for my most happiest pastime, jellyfishing. It'd be a real shame if anything were to happen to the indigenous wildlife. <laughs> Wanna catch a couple, Plankton? Focus, Sheldon, focus! SpongeBob, we don't have time for your juvenile hobbies! Come here, little jellyfish, and get in my net!
I can lick anything you throw at me. Oi! <laughs> 
Let's go.